During 2012, 48,277 cases of pertussis were reported to the CDC, including 20 pertussis-related deaths. This was the most reported cases since 1955. The majority of deaths occurred among infants younger than three months of age. The incidence rate of pertussis among infants exceeded that of all other age groups. From January 1st to August 16th, 2014, 17,325 cases of pertussis have been reported to the CDC by 50 states and Washington, D.C. This represents a 30% increase compared to the same time period in 2013. But with over 90% of the people in the United States getting vaccinated, why are these outbreaks still occurring? In 2010, California had the biggest outbreak of pertussis seen in over 50 years, and even years later still has pockets of alarmingly high pertussis incidents. The county of Marin, for example, has historically had one of the worst rates of pertussis incidents in the state. When we look at Marin in 2013, only 82% of kindergarten students enrolled had all of their required immunizations completed, and 7.83% had personal belief exemptions from vaccinations. However, when we look at Inyo County, that had among the lowest incidence of pertussis cases in the state, we find that over 97% of kindergarten students had all immunizations complete, with only 1.42% of students with personal belief exemptions. What happens when an unvaccinated person from the county of Marin travels outside of their county? The unvaccinated carry diseases like pertussis, causing outbreaks in areas with low vaccination rates. With no community immunity, the vaccine-preventable disease spreads instead of getting stamped out. 